So Online Resources for Racing Residency, I'm Dr. Pratik Nishant. Let us begin with this very important session, which, uh, which uh, is very relevant today. That is because the greatest researcher of, of India, one of the greatest researchers of India, Dr. Santosh Hanavar, has clearly mentioned in one of the editorials of the Indian Journal of Ophthalmology, uh, two very important sentences with the availability of vast and well-curated online resources. There's no excuse not to self-learn and fail in for deficiencies in training. And this applies to everybody in the ophthalmic scenario today. The second uh, important line is the current conditioned and hypertrophic cataract-centric focus of the young ophthalmologist should give way to open-minded int intensive learning of comprehensive ophthalmology. Cherry picking of commercially viable skills should change to a more broad-based approach. And this can only happen if you get, gather information from around the world and have a global outlook with local relevance. Why online? There's a huge community of ophthalmologists online and many of them are young ophthalmologists. You have uh, uh, scope for learning from stalwarts as well as peer-to-peer. You have scope of improving your understanding and your memory, and you have inspiration for your content that you can use for your presentations and your teaching. So coming on, videos, ebooks, articles, and discussions, all these are available online. So surgical learning resources, the most uh, useful resource that you, uh, you carry around in your phone is YouTube. These are uh, the names of our professors, uh, our prolific surgeons who upload their videos for free and provide detailed discussions on how well uh, the surgery is being managed and what your thinking should be. These are my recommendations. You can add your own in your, uh, you know, uh, in your outlook. And one of them is Dr. Nato Rosatelli who has uploaded some videos in 3D VR. So that is part of the message I want to put across that if you have a VR headset, you can view those surgeries in 3D as if you are looking into a microscope. Then, of course, you have cataractcoach.com, about a thousand videos related to cataract and refractive surgery and some others, which is led by Dr. Uday Devgan, one of the most prolific teachers of the US. Adding to that, you have one network, which uh, the access to which is provided by All India Ophthalmological Society, and you have top one network videos of uh, every year. Uh, of 2022 would pro probably come up in the next week, and you, you have access to all of these uh, for free. Uh, courtesy of the All India Ophthalmological Society. You also have <coughs> iTube, which is the YouTube of ophthalmology, which carries only surgical videos of ophthalmology and nothing else. For theory and clinical skills, again, I'd like to recommend some of these channels, which is Moran Core, Moran Core Eye Center from the University of Utah, the Eye Focus video series, the AIMS set or the RP Center AIMS Delhi or the RP Center PG teaching channels. These are very important. Uh, uh, channels which set the standards of postgraduate medical education in India. The best of LVPI grant rounds are LV LVPI digital education and Eklavya Shankar Netrale, these are channels which uh, allow you access to inside uh, teaching of these elite institutions even if you do not have the privilege to uh, uh, attend them live. There's one ophthalmologist known as Tim Root who uh, teaches in, in a lighter note uh, things that uh, which are very complex to understand and uh, he makes them very simple. So this is one of my recommendations. iRounds.org, iGuru.org and CyberSide. These are three more channels that I would recommend for theory and clinical skills. For webinars and discussions, one of the channels is YouTube, which, which is from UC. Uh, these are videos for and by young ophthalmologists of India. And uh, this, this hopes to be the preferred uh, resource to, for you to submit your videos and your resources. Uh, AIOS editor proceedings, AIOS scientific committee, ARC, AIOS, and Daily Ophthalmological Society. These are very, very extensive. So I recommend on, uh, highlighting only those videos which carry the word PG teaching in them. You can attend these PG teaching sessions for free, uh, which uh, pro uh, earlier uh, probably it used to be a Herculean task to go to different cities and attend, but now it is all available online. For ebooks, there are telegram channels for shared ophthalmology books. Piracy is illegal and not recommended. Let this disclaimer be made clear from my side. There's an expert consult website which gives you uh, access to portions or whole of books uh, online, which you can freely copy and uh, save to your computer. iWiki from American Academy of Ophthalmology, atlasofophthalmology.com, gonioscopy.org. Uh, these, are, these are websites which, which you can access for the purpose of uh, having you know, e-books uh, online. 
There are some promotional offers for e-books going on uh, now and then for, for, from various publishers. And there are books bundled with conference registration fees that you can look out for. And uh, you can uh, bag a good uh, e-book uh, for a very nominal price. For hacks during residency, life hacks or otherwise, these are some channels like e of Ophthalmobytes, Dr. Pranesh Bala Subramaniam on YouTube, AAO Retinoscopy Simulator, AAO Surgical Simulators, your slides from UC on, on the official website or on Instagram, and various ins Instagram ch channels that uh, give out ophthalmology cheat sheets, uh, important clinical images, and, and uh, various kinds of stuff for free. So you can follow those channels and enjoy these uh, hacks. May I acknowledge our, our teacher, Dr. Satosh Hunavar, who has pr previously presented this topic on various forums. These are two YouTube uh, videos, uh, links to two YouTube videos, which you can access if you want to uh, hear it from him in more detail. Thank you. Abhishek, sir, uh, you are a big propagator of uh, self-learning, so. <laughs> so I, I also learned my own channel, that is, I mean, that is, but then, I just want to add, I have a lot of residents under me, and somehow I feel that uh, my residents, you know, I don't know whether the difference of my, you know, when I was doing residency, it was in 2008-11, and now I feel that they are more focused to the online, you know, but I just want to just give a simple message that take all the, take all and imbibe everything from the online, but don't miss this live, you know, your surgical, you, when you go to your, be, be inquisitive, ask your mentors what is going on, peep into the microscope. If you can't have, if you don't have access to the side scope, then look at it and keep asking and learn from that because that is the <coughs> best learning. You know, there are a lot of inputs, but they, they can't replace your mentors or, you know, who are teaching you. So don't, these are add-ons. Use it, yeah. imbibe it, and then also translate it in your practice. Yes, sir. And has made a very important point. This, this three or the six years of residency that you have, the, those, that is a very, very precious time. Uh, so utilize that in the clinics more than these online resources. These online resources are there to stay, and uh, these resources like, will be available to you even after you complete your residency or or your fellowship training. Just, just to add that, if you're going, like if you have an OT posted tomorrow, if you have an OT tomorrow and you are a resident, you are going to the OT, know your cases. Know what is being posted, what is being done tomorrow. And, and then... Cases look. doesn't mean only cataract. It should be uh, all, all the cases. Everything. Know it, see it on YouTube, see it on various online resources, imbibe the knowledge, and then ask your mentor, why are you doing this? Why this step has changed? Why are you not doing like this? So be inquisitive. And that you. has to uh, go in uh, parallel, and maybe that is more important than these online resources. Yeah. One thing and I would like uh, correlating with the clinical findings, uh, like whatever clinical finding you see, and when you read up on the same day, then only you are able to imbibe it. Because just uh, reading the theory doesn't make any sense at all. Like if you have seen the case, you will remember it for lifetime. That's what it is. Exactly. Exactly. One thing I would like to tell that uh, in today's era, Twitter has become very important, and lots of ophthalmic. Uh, uh, ophthalmologists are there on the Twitter and AO and Retina today, they all uh, post their links for the recent papers. You can download from there. It is very helpful. You go, you just have Twitter and follow the, at least uh, 10 to 15, there are links which you must follow. They are very useful. Uh, at any point, if any audience member can uh, want to ask question, please uh, feel free to do so. About those journal websites, I'm I'm quite uh, you know I'm, I'm quite open to discussion because there is a lot of information coming through in these journals. What is actually relevant for uh, residency or not relevant is quite you know there's a thin line and it, that line is quite blurred at places. Can I add one more point? Yes, sir. See, in the end, you have to learn these are all edited. Very few are live videos or unedited videos. In edited, everything is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and out of 100 surgeries they perform, they upload one video. Yeah, yeah, so, so the rest 99 have something that, that's why they are not getting uploaded. Very important point, so yes sir. <laughs>